Battle Rifles and Phantom Forces are definitely an interesting weapon category. These high damage powerhouses attract lots of different types of players, and while there aren't many of them, then there are still plenty of stereotypes to go over. Now before we begin, I, I gotta do that whole disclaimer thing again. These stereotypes do not apply to everyone. They have reasons for existing, but they're always exceptions. So for example, if I say the HK416 is exclusively used by tryhards, that doesn't mean that you necessarily are one, it just means that that's what people automatically assume about you when they see you using the HK416. Understand? Are we good? Okay good. So with all that out of the way, then let's get into it. The Beowulf ECR has a couple types of players. The first type of person is the guy who bought the 556 conversion. This guy is tryharding, but the thing is, he's usually not that good. But if you were to question why he bought the 556 conversion, he will become extremely defensive and will argue day and night that the Beowulf ECR with 556 conversion is not just a direct downgrade from any other assault rifle in the game. The next type of person is a special case. To see what kind of player you're dealing with here, you have to look at what fire mode they are in. If they are in auto, they probably don't know what they're doing. If they are in semi, then they probably switched fire modes and don't know how to swap back. But if they are in burst, then beware. People who use the Beowulf ECR on burst know exactly what they are doing and are extremely hard to fight against just because of the fact that almost nothing can beat the Beowulf head to head and these people usually never miss the first burst. So yeah, your best chance of fighting against this guy is to fight him at long range. Now the Scar H is used by two types of players. The first one is the Scar fanboy. This guy only uses Scar type weapons on all his classes and loves to talk about how great each and every Scar is. He's usually pretty chill but can get defensive if you don't share the same opinion as him. And the second guy is just a tryhard. He's pretty average in terms of skill levels, like he's not that good, but he's definitely not bad either. Oh, but one last thing. This guy loves wallbanging. I don't know why, but I have noticed that I get wallbanged way more often by Scar H tryhards. Now the AK-12 battle rifle is a similar case to the Beowulf ECR. To tell what type of person you're fighting against here, you have to look at what fire mode they are in. If they are in anything that isn't burst, then they are just a person who dislikes the high recoil of other battle rifles but still wants to use them. But the guy who actually uses the AK-12 battle rifle on burst? Oh, don't even try it. This guy is probably using an auto clicker and can destroy you at almost any range at almost any time. Seriously, these guys are extremely scary to fight against because the AK-12 battle rifle on burst with the help of an auto clicker is pretty much broken beyond repair. As far as I'm concerned, then this is pretty much the best battle rifle in the game after it got buffed. No, seriously. This gun has pretty much become the new meta. Anyways, people who use this are usually meta slaves, so basically they only use this gun because it's arguably one of the strongest guns in the game currently. Man, talking about the AG3 now just makes me really sad. Before this gun was one of the best battle rifles in the game and potentially one of the best guns in the entire game overall, but ever since the G3 got buffed then this gun has pretty much been left behind in the dust. So if you see somebody using this, then they are probably going on a little nostalgia trip reminiscing of the days where the AG3 dominated the battle rifle meta. This guy is an utter tryhard. Yeah, this guy takes the game extremely seriously and is extremely toxic towards enemies, but also his teammates. This guy will curse at you for almost anything, whether that be using a shotgun, picking up his gun, or telling him to calm down. Seriously, these people are probably the most unenjoyable players to be around, as they just never stop raging in chat. Now the Henry has two types of players. The first is the Quickscoper. This guy is a hyper-aggressive tryhard, and he will be doing all sorts of movements while trying to quickscope you in close range. They are super hard to play against, but man is it satisfying to kill them. The second guy is the Shotgun Henry user. Yeah, for some reason this guy thought it would be a good idea to transform the Henry into a shotgun, and he probably feels obligated to use it because he spent so many credits on the attachment. This guy is using the drum mag. 
you thought there was more to it? I'm not messing with you, like seriously, every person I've seen use the FAL 50 always uses the drum mag. It's literally never anything else. Although one thing with these guys is that they think with their 50-41 damage bullets that they are basically invincible, and that results in them overestimating how good they are way more often than you would think. Well that's all for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the second episode of the Stereotypes revamp. Also, if you have a stereotype suggestion, then make sure to join my Discord server, as I have a special chat there where you can suggest your own stereotypes for an upcoming episode. Also, just as another reminder that once the revamp series is finished, then the originals will be unlisted, so make sure to archive them while you can. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, then the best way to support this type of content is to like this video and share it with others, as that is the best way you can support this series and me as a creator. But, until next time, peace.